RefTab is an easy to use asset management and maintenance tracking platform. This list that I'm moving up and down on the left is a list of asset categories. Categories group assets of similar type. So for example, if I click AC units, I just see a list of all my AC units in the middle of the screen. If I click camera cases, I see all my camera cases. Chromebooks, all my Chromebooks, and so on and so forth. These categories are entirely user defined. You can create a category for literally anything that you need to track. Each category has its own unique set of fields that describe each asset within the category. So this MacBook Pro is an asset and the fields, operating system, serial number, purchase cost, and all the fields that you see here are stored on every MacBook Pro. These fields are entirely customizable. You can have as many fields as you need or as few fields as you need and they can be different between categories. So for example, if I click on a monitor, I can have a completely different set of fields such as serial number, model, and station ID. Every asset must have a unique asset ID. And this is what RefTab uses to generate barcodes and QR codes. These IDs are basically your company's internal serialization of equipment. Now, if I click print tag here, RefTab will take this ID and generate a QR code or a barcode. Then you can print this ID and attach it to the back of an asset and you can use the mobile app for iOS or Android to scan the barcode and pull up details of the equipment. The mobile app is really quite straightforward and easy to use. It uses the camera of your phone or tablet to scan barcodes and pull up the asset information. So all you do is you tap scan, the camera opens, point it to the barcode, and it pulls up the asset on screen. You can see location, notes, status labels, and if you scroll down, you can see all your custom fields, your serial numbers and warranty information. Next, you can tap the checkout button, and then this is where you can assign equipment to users. So you find someone's name in the list, you select when they're going to return the equipment, and you tap checkout. What happens now is the asset is linked to a person, and everything that you do on the mobile app updates your RefTab account. Now at this point, you might be wondering how you get data into the system. Your assets can be uploaded with a CSV file. You can, of course, manually add assets from the desktop site or the mobile app. We also offer a bunch of different integrations. So we have an integration with Jamf to add all your Apple devices, Intune to add your Windows devices, and then to add all your users in the system, you could do an LDAP integration or a SKIM integration. This way you can avoid having to do all the manual labor of adding equipment in on your own. So the next feature we're gonna look at is custody verification. Basically what this is, is after you have your users in the system and all your assets and you've checked out equipment to all your users, let's say three months go by, six months, a year, and you wanna make sure that the people that you've given equipment to still have that equipment. What you can do is request custody verification. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this manually, but this process can be completely automated. RefTab can do this entire process in the background without you having to log in and do this at all. But here's how it's done manually. You click Request Custody Verification here, and you put a date of when you want the person to respond, and then you can add any notes, and then you can click Send. Now, if I scroll back up, I can see that this laptop is still loaned to this user, Jim, but it's pending verification. So Jim just got an email, which I'll show you right here, that basically says, hello, your IT admin would like to verify equipment given to you. This is a customizable email. In fact, all the emails in RefTab are customizable. Anyway, all they do is they click the verification link. They don't have to log in anywhere. And it brings them to this sort of custom branded page. They can see your company logo, colors, they can see details about the asset, and they can see the notes that we've provided on the verification request. What they do is they answer this very simple form. Do you have the asset? Yes or no? What condition it is in? They can provide any feedback or notes and they can sign and click submit. And that's all they do. It's as simple as that. And now we can see that it is now says verified good on the date and time and it shows their notes. So what's really good about this is that you can again automate this entirely. And as an admin, I can click on the assets page here 
and I can kind of scan this column for custody verification and I can see all the ones that are maybe still pending, all the ones that have been responded to, verified, and oh, here's one in red, not in possession. And if I click on it, I can see why the person said they don't have this laptop anymore. So they said, oh, I dropped it off to you. This is when they responded. So now I can go and re go look for asset number 31. I can take the mobile app and I can go around you know, the office. Maybe they shipped it back to me. I can scan the barcode of the app and I can pull up the asset. And remember, it's checked out to the person. So all I would do is tap check in because I've physically now confirmed that they have it, dropped it back off to me. And the asset then looks like this. It's back in stock and listed as being available. So that's kind of the full life cycle of a loan a checkout and a confirmation that the person still has custody over equipment or not. The next thing that RefTab can track are called accessories. Now, accessories are items that you track in bulk. These are not individually unique items that you need tracked. For example, each accessory item would not have a barcode attached to it, whereas each asset, you would have a barcode attached to it. Accessory are things that you would track in bulk. So a perfect example of an asset would be a laptop, but an accessory would be a keyboard or maybe a mice. So for example, if I look at my keyboards here in the list, this just shows me how my keyboards are being used across the organization. So I have 127 available, I have 200 in total, and if I scroll down, this is just nothing more complicated than a table showing who or what is using a keyboard. Now if I click checkout and I give someone a keyboard, what happens here is it will just decrease my available count. So I just checked out a keyboard and now I have 126 keyboards. The other type of accessory that RefTab can track are consumables. Consumables are items that are consumed, they're used up, and they're never returned back in stock. So here's an example of construction vests. These are consumable that I'm tracking, and all it is is you're tracking a running total. So for example, I have 23 construction vests. If I give out, let's say, two more, I select a transaction of used, I select two, and I can put any additional details, but if I click Submit, it lowers my current quantity down to 21. And if I scroll down here, this is nothing more complicated than a past transaction table showing me how I've used uh, my construction vests in the past. RefTab can alert you when either a consumable or an accessory has reached a minimum quantity count. So I have a column here for minimum quantity with different numbers for each. And as I'm checking this equipment in and out or I'm using up a consumable, this is my number that I'm telling RefTab to alert me when I reach. So if I reach three HDMI cables, I'll get an email that says, hey, you're running low on HDMI cables. You may want to think about ordering more. You can also use RefTab to track licenses. And licenses behaves pretty much exactly the same way that accessories do, except you're tracking a seat count, how you're using licenses. So for example, if I click Adobe Creative Cloud here, I can see that I have 75 total seats that I purchased and seven available. So if I scroll down again, this is just a table that shows me who or what asset is using Adobe Creative Cloud. And I have the same alerts with Adobe Creative Cloud when it comes to accessories where I can be alerted when I get to a particularly low amount. However, with RefTab, you can also track expiration dates or renewal dates. So before a date is set to occur, maybe a license is going to expire or renew, RefTab will alert me. I can do 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or more. That way, I'm not caught off guard if a license expires and I don't know about it. Next, if you have a bundle of assets and accessories that you often combine to loan out, you can create a kit. A kit is exactly that. It's a combination or a bundle of multiple assets or accessories or consumables combined into one loanable kit item. So for example, I have a kit here called photo equipment and when I click on it, I can see the particular assets that are in it, the accessories that are in it. And when I click go back, I can easily click check out and I can assign this kit to a user. When they come and pick up the kit, they just get the one kit that includes all of the assets and the kit will be listed as being on loan to that person. If you're looking to have a more self-service option for your users, 
you can create a custom branded user portal that looks similar to this with your custom color, your logo, any custom text on the screen here. And you can add your users to certain access roles that define what they can and cannot do in RefTab. So for example, some users can log into a portal that looks like this, where they can request to use items, uh, or some other users can log in and be administrators, or some other users can log in and only access certain locations or only certain types of assets. In this scenario, this is a person who's logged in under the role of portal user. They can see different types of equipment that they have available to them or they can request to use. So for example, if I click on studio rooms, I can select a particular studio room and I can see details about it, like the room number or any other custom fields that you want to display. And all this is is a calendar that the user can drag and drop when they're gonna basically use the asset, in this case, the studio room. So they set a pickup time and a return time. And they can fill out any custom fields here. And they can click submit. So what happens is there's a reservation that was placed on that studio room. This prevents any double bookings for you because that time period has been blocked off for that particular user. So the next thing we'll look at is asset maintenance. This feature is great if you need to do things like manage preventative maintenance on a schedule or on the fly break fix. So this is perfect for warranty repairs, safety inspections, calibrations, or anything like that. So in this example, we have a forklift that has a safety inspection maintenance report that's currently open right here. And if I click details, I can see the details of this safety inspection. This section here in the middle is my custom form for safety inspection that logs all the details of the work that needs to be done for a proper safety inspection. So I fill out each one of these tasks. And all of these fields are customizable not only for what types of fields you can have with regards to the name, the little labels, the drop down list, check marks, uh, dates, currency values, signatures. You can also upload images and all of these forms can be downloadable to PDFs. So after I fill out all the information, I can just simply click save, save and lock, and it locks the work that was done. And then I can continue to move on with either the next preventative maintenance the next time it comes up. For example, this one is scheduled, or I can look and see who's done maintenance on something in the past. So if I click this, I can see this completed maintenance report that I just filled out, and I can even click download PDF. So here's the PDF that is, again, another customizable aspect of the platform that you can download and you can send it to your um, technicians or a maintenance manager or even customers. Now, it's also important to note that you can complete maintenance inspections on the mobile app. You just scan the barcode and the asset will display if it has an open maintenance report. You can also open maintenance reports from the mobile app if a technician sees that something needs to be repaired right then and there. But it's the same process. The app will show you those same customizable maintenance forms that they can fill out right from the mobile app and submit. And all those emails that can be sent will alert when something's been completed or when a new maintenance report has been opened up. So that was a good overview of the RefTab platform. We went over assets and how they're grouped by categories and how they're also grouped into locations. Assets can also have their custom field values to track anything that your business might need it to. Um, you can also track accessory items, kits, software licenses. You can even display assets to a, uh, users in a custom branded user portal, and you can conduct maintenance, both preventative maintenance and maintenance uh, on the fly. There's all sorts of other integrations, uh, Zendesk, Zapier, and uh, Jamf and Jira. There is all sorts of other settings you can do with regards to electronic signature capture. Um, so the next step is we definitely suggest registering a free account. There's no credit card or anything like that required. It's a freemium version of the platform that allows you to do things like download the mobile app, scan barcodes, create categories of assets. So when you're on our homepage, just click register free account here. You can provide your email address, give yourself a password and log in and you get access to the platform free forever. There's no limit um, on a time. You can track up to 50 assets. 
If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to help at reftab.com and a ticket will be created. Thank you very much for your time. Take care.